Hello wonderful people, good evening from Dhaka, Bangladesh. I am here to do my fourth Yatman fragrance and the house is not called Yatman, it's just the line. And I have so far done three uh, reviews on this house and uh, they are namely Yatman Red, beautiful bottle, the inspiration for Dhani Desire Red, uh, but Dhani Desire Red got all the love. So this is what came before Dhani Desire Red. Then the second one I did review was Yatman Blue, if you haven't checked out these videos, you can search for these fragrances and put joy i mean or you don't have to put because no one else probably reviewed them a uh, yatman blue this is the inspiration for daniel desire blue uh third one i did was not very long ago it's called yatman aventus very interesting one no review i don't think anyone has gotten their hand on this but this is like an aventus clone and these are very inexpensive uh, fragrances but they try to uh, throw once in a while kind of like a good surprise to people and they are not really known for their performance that much uh, so far i would say the one i'm about to review today which is yatman energize this fragrance here and they and the red these two are the better performers in the line but they are not really beast mode performers but then their prices are kind of very very on the cheaper side you can find them from somewhere between like ten dollars to fifteen dollars price tag anywhere give give or take uh, i don't know depending on your region maybe do not pay a lot do not pay like thirty dollars for these fragrances i know i think they retail for those like thirty thirty five dollars plus i think more you're looking at like ten to fifteen dollars okay that's the price range they do not come i think any other bottle sizes 100 ml only edt and uh, this fragrance right here is inspired by two very big fragrances okay blood de chanel and Dior Sauvage, okay? I'll talk about the similarities and what, which way this fragrance right here is similar to those, okay? And uh, if you check out Fragrantica, I don't think there is many review on, like there is nothing on the profile, or any, any fragrance profile on this fragrance, basically. They don't have it on their uh, encyclopedia, <laughs> let's say, okay? So, first of all, this house, it's, I always have a difficult time to say this house name. I went to YouTube, but then, you know, you cannot teach an idiot <laughs> it goes like mararja okay mararja 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 i think mararja so it sounds a lot like in bengali there's a word or term people say moiraja you know <laughs> if you're from bangladesh or kolkata or if you speak bengali you would understand what it means it basically means like just die in one cares <laughs> just die <laughs> but anyway I shouldn't make fun of a house name but just try to you know lighten up the mood okay so i'll let you know what this fragrance is like how long it lasts who is it for and where you can use it okay um, and the bottle basically if you see one you've seen them all just different color and they have many other fragrance in this yatman line they have metal they have black they have chocolate they have silver they have white you know uh, if you go on you can go on like at least for five minutes on how many fragrances this line has so anyway first of all here's the box it's really nice blue very dark blue match with my I match my shirt with it I think they kind of match so it think of this color when you think of this fragrance that's how this is exactly smelling all right it's EDT 100 ml it says energize pretty cool name energize and at the back it says some more information and these are made in Spain I believe here is where you're gonna find your batch code and barcode so basically a simple simplistic box because it's a uh, not a very expensive but it looks quite decent the blue color is called always eye-catching and the bottle here is like this very beautiful dark blue bottle i think this is one of the nicer looking bottles in the line all of them look okay but this one looks really cool dark blue like a midnight uh, ocean like midnight you know moonlit night if you look at the ocean the water looks like this right so if you can see the bottle juice level is kind of down yes i didn't use all of it definitely decanted some of it uh, for people to try and see how this fragrance is okay and this one has this nice sail pattern here if you look at the detailing it, it is attached basically the cap is attached to the bottle so you'll never lose the cap very light cap this until this part is plastic the cap and this part is plastic but it has a chrome finish and it looks like bottom looks like an eye like azaro chrome uh, legend it is everything is engraved here okay nice information and very nice bottle to be honest it looks really nice in the uh, collection i mean but it's kind of smaller than compared to many other bottles because the base here is not very heavy it's, it's kind of thin thin glass so just like to provide those information out there sprayer on this is okay not bad sprayer if you're scared of fakes i think there are some fakes but look inside it will be black okay let's spray this stuff okay it shoots really effortless i think it's better than the other sprayers okay clicks onto place 
and uh, I'll classify this as a savage like fragrance. <laughs> Just kidding. It's a summer aquatic Ambroxan, uh, you know, blue out of shower, fresh, watery fragrance. This is what this is. Okay, let the cell down. I wouldn't recommend you to sniff this upon first spraying. Do not sniff it because the alcohol will get to your nose and it will kind of burn and disturb your nostrils. Okay, so fragrance notes since I do not have any information, I do not know. But what I'm guessing is this Calibrian Bergamo, there is a, uh, of course, Sauvage's uh, hidden in the ingredients, it's Ambroxan. There is some sort of a okay, let's it's drying down. I'm, I'm getting a little bit like a soapy you know it's very soapy fragrance but not in a sense that it's a powdery soapy it's a like you know those shower gels blue shower gels you have seen my recent reviews you know i've been doing a coach for him savage i'm gonna review ysl y so all these blue fragrances uh ysl language along all electric it has that fresh shower gel blue vibe and it's very clean and it's almost like it just came out of shower okay and uh it's very refreshing, uplifting. So first time I tried this, it was on Stalin Enterprise. You have seen those few fragrances videos few days back. I did initial impression on. I bought it that day, but I haven't reviewed it. Got caught up with other fragrances. So this fragrance, uh, it's very youthful. It's very nice and it really took me by surprise. The first time I sprayed it, I really liked the bottle and the smell. It's fantastic. So far, I think so far out of the four that I tried and I tried some more. This is so far the best from this house. Let me tell you, because I love Dior Sauvage and this is the cheapest uh, clone that you can find of Dior Sauvage, but from a, you know, company which is enlisted. It's not a company like um, there's no trace or anything. You can trace this product because it has this barcode and stuff like that. So it's a legit product, but it's apparently here. Like everybody else, they're doing a version of Sauvage. Nothing wrong with it. So this fragrance is very fresh, very kind of like it has this metallic tone to it. Just like, you know, it looks like this chrome part. It has that kind of like metallic but doesn't have that sort of like uh, metal getting uh, like like you know catching some sea you know like what do you call that like uh, it's, it's mixing with some sort of sea water salty water and it's getting some sort of a uh, metal going bad and stuff it doesn't have that you know property so it's kind of like a metallic clean it has the, this two feel you know it has that chromish feel and it has that blue dark deep water you know sea water feel but no salty nuance okay so i get that fresh some sort of florals like aqua di Gio and stuff it's very very fresh it's just like you just took a dive into the ocean and just came up and just like james bond and you're smelling fresh clean and basically it's just fresh clean summer days you know i would see this perfect wearing for if you're going for the beach you know just going for morning dip and stuff you know just going for morning shower or swim you can smell you can, you can wear this it's it's a not very long lasting fragrance it's good for good two to three hours i get with uh, maybe one hour of projection i'll go uh, maybe not so much with this fragrance do not put 10 sprays of it you're gonna choke because that metallic tone will come up and it'll just disturb your nostrils a lot so i would say go three sprays that is just enough go one on your chest maybe two on your two arms that's good do not put maybe here around this area it might disturb you know like here if you turn you know it will it, just it's very sharp in that way projects really nice for that one hour it's really nice but compared to Sauvage and Bleu de Chanel it has a vibe it has a vibe to both those fragrances but it's not exactly 100% clone if you if I smell Sauvage let's say side by side Sauvage is a lot more <laughs> well built of course it is almost 10 times more pricey than the Yachtman Energize but nonetheless it has a feel of Sauvage which is commendable you know for that price 10 15 dollars you can get 100 ml bottle with a decent looking bottle and you know like it looks pretty nice right so it has this and think of some element from la Chanel, some element from sauvage you know fresh clean but on the dry down it doesn't have how those two you know how to say develop on your skin so but for uh, for the price here is this positive stuff for the price you get 100 ml and it gets very very cheap price tag it comes along so 10 even 15 dollars is not going to hurt your bank much so that's the first positive second thing is beautiful bottle very nice packaging uh, third of all you can you know wear this in many places people not going to tell you like you don't you you smell bad or cheap this is going to smell as good as your designer fragrances which this is and uh, i recommend this highly to students college kids you can decant it you can put it in a small little bottle like this 
if you know how to decant there are a lot of videos out there you can decant it spray like every three hours two hours in your school you're gonna be good to go for the whole day you can smell fresh out of shower clean you can wear this for casual dates youth you know young people you can go for dates wearing this no problem uh this is pretty nice okay so the downside of it is the performance you know more than three hours i do not get i get like three and three and a half hours tops longevity i can detect it on my skin but it's not really like whole day you know so if i'm going for let's say gym which i don't go <laughs> i stopped uh, i was i used to go in malaysia i had picked up an injury here uh, since then i cannot lift so uh, all i do is walk so if you're going for morning walk and stuff that's good for gym if you're going for sports even just put it in gym bag finish your football game all muddy and everything take a shower and then you know after the shower spray this on fresh as like a uh, brand new you know that's that's how you're gonna smell uh, as i told you it has a little bit soapiness pretty damn nice okay so uh, if you compare positive and negative a lot more positive than negative in this fragrance but this is not gonna be for you know people who have a very sophisticated experience nose just for someone who can you know this fragrance you're not gonna have any guilt you can have a guilty free pleasure pss, pss, pss. anytime you feel like you can even finish the bottle in one week it's not gonna hurt your back <laughs> At your back bank right so overall this fragrance longevity i would give this like a six out of ten let's give it six because uh it's not bad compared to the type of fragrance this is many of the fragrance last less than this projection maybe uh five and a half let's say five and a half okay uh smell of it very good i'll give it eight out of ten solid solid eight for this fragrance uh originality under <laughs> zero uh the versatility i think you can wear this in summer and spring days day and night you can wear this as just like summer you can wear it in the evening it will last a little bit longer if there is no sun you know if it's a little bit cool you can also wear this for the office environment if you're lucky you're gonna get the whole day's work okay because if it's climate control zone air conditioning it loves the air conditioning it will last much better uh, the overall fragrance the feel i got from this is so far the best if you see the other ones they are not bad at all you know like the red one smells pretty damn nice it lasts the longest i think these two last the longest in the line so this one i get about four hours so these you know the yatman blue they all smell really really pleasant you know the, even the aventus you get a feel of aventus for two two and a half hours okay tops so overall this fragrance i'm gonna give it like seven like seven out of ten uh even if, if it lasted a little bit longer yeah it would get like eight solid eight but seven out of ten for the value for the how nice it smells and the bottle that you get and how carefree you can use it right it's savage like fragrance but not quite savage but pretty damn good okay for the price and just before i finish let me show you one fragrance it's just i got a gift uh, it's called savior man okay so this fragrance is basically a dupe of course you can see the bottle it's, it's even it looks almost same like savage right this fragrance i'm not going to do a review because it's kind of like a uh, clone of savage but when i smell it it has middle eastern companies what they do is they do very close clone of very popular fragrance a very fraction of a price so if you guys want to know you can put a comment or you can come join my group i'll let you know there so you can get this clones also it's even cheaper than the yatman but i think compared these two this is much better quality so the clones i'll tell you another day if it's the dupes if they're worth getting or not right take care guys thanks for watching and uh wait for some more reviews many more are coming up from house of Parma. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.